Good evening, Tiger Sports fans, and welcome back to another episode of Tiger Sports Nation. I'm Francisco Vila. And I'm Taylor Richardson. Last week, the Tigers showed promise as they battled against some of the best teams in the NCAC. But before we get into those details, be sure to give D3TV a follow on all our social media accounts and give us a like and comment down below. We kicked things off with the men's soccer team who traveled to Wabash last week and beat the Little Giants by a score of 2-0. to Joel Tompkins and Jack Herbst both added a goal for the Tigers, and this win moved the DePaz overall record to 5-1-1 one and, one, and now a 1-0 and conference record play. Women's soccer traveled to Wittenberg last week for another conference match, but would unfortunately fall to the Tigers by a score of 1-0, moving their record to 0-3-2 on the season. The men's and women's golf team both hit the road last week, and the men's team competing, competing in the Hoosier Heartland D3 Challenge at Franklin, and the women's team playing in the Kathy Nepagen Spring Fling at Illinois Wesleyan. The men's team shot a three-round 922 to secure third-place finish, with James Gilmore tied for eighth and Grant Germano in tenth. The women's team also finished third in their tournament, shooting a round two of 686. Paige Sanfilippo and Sydney Weiner led the Tigers as they tied for ninth place overall, shooting a 168 in two rounds. The DePaul volleyball team competed in two matches this week, failing, falling to Greenville University at home while also adding their first win on the road at Kenyon College. Elise Monroe led DePaul in kills in the first match with 18, followed closely by Jessica Levy with 14 of her own. The second match saw 12 ties and 9 lead changes. As DePaul was able to pull ahead late in the fourth set, DePaul is now 1-5 overall. The men's and women's lacrosse teams both hit the road last week, with the men's team facing off against Indiana Tech and Fort Wayne, and the women's team traveling to Lexington for a battle against Transylvania. Both teams would see a very close defeat, with the men's team losing 11-9 and the women's team losing 17-15. Senior Will Roberts led the men's team with four goals, while Patrick Lawton added an impressive 17 saves. The men's lacrosse now holds a 3-4 and four record as they host Wittenberg next week. Grace Clark would lead the Tigers in goals in their contest with six, followed by Bree Randolph and Emma Kennedy with three. Katherine Hopkins also recorded 15 saves for the Tigers. This loss ended DePaul's four-game winning streak, However, the Tigers sit at 4-3 and three in hopes of beating Wittenberg next week as well. The Paw men's, men's tennis remains unbeaten in the NCAC play as they secured an 8-1 win over visiting Wabash to move to 3-5 and five overall and 2-0 in the conference. The Tigers would show up big in the doubles play, sweeping the Little Giants 8-0, 8-1, and 8-3. The Tigers face off against Wittenberg next. And finally... The DePaul women's outdoor track and field team dominated last week as they traveled to Crawfordsville to compete in the Huntsman Family Invitational. DePaul finished first overall with 113 points, recording a total of 17 top three finishes across 12 different events. Leading the Tigers in first place finishes was Aaron Pash, who took first in the 200-meter dash and the 100-meter hurdle and shot put. The men's team finished fourth in the Invitational after tallying four individual top three performances to go along with two top three finishes in the relays. Both teams compete at home next in the DePaul Quad 2. And that will wrap things up for this episode of Tiger Sports Nation. Best of luck to all our student athletes this week in their upcoming competitions. And remember to give D3TV a follow as well as a like and comment below. Thank you so much to everybody for watching. I'm Taylor Richardson. And I'm Francisco Avila. And as always, roll, roll TIGS. TIGS.